question number 17. A particle with charge Q is accelerated from rest through a potential difference V over a distance S. A particle of charge Q is accelerated through a potential difference over a distance S. Okay. Through a distance S, it reaches this point. Let me call this point as A, call this point as V. The particle then enters a magnetic field of strength P at right angles to that magnetic field direction. Okay. Now, it enters like this. Right angles. Okay. Maybe I can keep it like this also. This could be my magnetic field. This could be my magnetic field. This is my magnetic field, right? And uh, the particle enters. The moment it enters, what will happen? It will describe a circle, okay? And uh, what change? What single change will change the radius of the curvature of the path of this small particle? Now, if it describes a circle, what is the radius of the circle? How do I determine? What I will do is, whenever a particle describes a circle, I will be using m v square by r is equal to b q v circular motion, right? Therefore, where B Q V is the driving force, M V square by R is the centripetal force. So this velocity and this velocity will go off. So I will get R is equal to M V divided by B Q. What is he asking? What single change? One of these parameters should be changed so that the radius of curvature, this R of the path of the particle, will become smaller. R becomes smaller. What should I change? See, simple. M should reduce. Is there a change in M here? There is no change in M here. So this is another right option. Change in V. What is V? Velocity. Is there a change in V? No. Increase V is here. So, what should I do here? Decrease V. So, therefore, this is also incorrect. Then, magnetic field. Magnetic field, what should I do? I should increase the magnetic field. Here, magnetic field is given by the letter P instead of B. So, therefore, increase the value of P. Increase the value of P. Answer is A over here. Okay. The rest of them doesn't matter. 